It'll be one to go this time by. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, go, go. Dig, dig, dig. Go, 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 go. Get your motor running. Head out on the highway. Other questions? Got one right here. Go ahead, David. David Pohl, Sharp Reserve. This, this may sound like heresy, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Um, making the chase on the last in the last spot and being 80 points back, you mentioned earlier. Either way, you get 10 extra races, 10 more, 10, 10 more races. <clears throat> there have been indications in the past that teams that got caught up in running for the championship and battling in the chase and trying to get a good finish spends a lot of time looking at the end of one season and doesn't necessarily get itself lined up for next season. It would seem like that your team progressing might actually could use those last ten races a little bit more to to get ready for next year and not have to worry about the championship aspect of it. I know that maybe that sounds like a that, that lets a bad mentality creep in, but have you given any thought to that idea? Yeah, I have a little bit, and I think where we're at, we're not a championship caliber team now, no matter how good we run tonight and if we make the chase and no matter how excited we are the bottom line at the end of the day um you can't win the championship without winning some races and you can't win you know without getting uh, a lot of top fives and leading a lot of laps and we're not quite there yet and i think we know that uh we we've still got a ways to go and i think that would be the mentality that that we would take in the chase we wouldn't necessarily be looking at that championship role because we're not there yet and i think it's a little far-fetched from uh you know from where we stand uh today not a lot of things can happen between now and the end of the year and and then we say yeah i think we've got a shot at, at a championship but but as we stand right here today we're um we've got a, a top 10 to top 12 to 14 team and that's what we got we've uh we've still got a win some races we've got to uh slowly um you know progress into a better more consistent faster team uh but uh, i don't think the championship would be it'd be in the back of our minds but it wouldn't be the main objective uh out of uh, you know out of these last 10 races monty dutton justin is it david what you just said i mean in a way if the chase is like it was last year you're absolutely right but in 2005, Stewart won the championship without winning a single race in the chase. And in 2004, Kurt Busch won it only winning the first. So in a sense, what happens depends on how it goes. I mean, if you have guys who win races but they wreck into more. So, I mean, in, a, I mean this, in the past it has been won by consistency and by winning is what I'm saying. Yeah, I agree with you, and, and you look at, at our team over the last month and a half, and we've been really consistently top ten car, and I think that's what gets you in the chase. Um, and certainly we'd all like to think that a championship, the Sprint Cup champion is going to be a, a person that can go out and win some races this final ten stretch. And looking at, at the way Carl and, and Kyle are kind of not necessarily in a league of their own, but running um, pretty good. Uh, you know, with each other, uh, head and shoulders above everybody, just about. I think that um, that you know they're going to win some races, and it's going to be a battle. But you know, like you pointed out, the last couple of years, the um, the guys that were consistently fast and didn't have that one bad race can uh, can win. And like I said, it, it would be in the back of our minds, but we would just try to again keep the same mindset, trying to to get top tens, and that's how we learn to get experience. And um, it's uh, it's really important to try to win win one of these things this year too question over here <clears throat> uh, Jay Pennell hardcore race fans .com. how much has uh, your crew chief Jimmy Fenning helped you maintain this uh, this calm demeanor I mean it seems like you know you see everybody else walking around the the, the garage and you can tell everybody's kind of on pins and needles but it seems like you guys kind of have this cool calm demeanor about you is that the experience, his experience helping that, or is that your personality and his personality? Is it just kind of a mix of everything? Yeah, I think it's our personalities. I think we're a little, um, I don't want to say we're laid back, but we're just, uh, we want to act like we have we belong here. You know, if we if we were to show up at Richmond and be so excited and, you know, talking uh, talking a big game, um, you know, like we've never been here before, that, that wouldn't be the right uh, direction to head and, and certainly Jimmy does have the experience he's been here and done this several times and so he knows what to expect around the next corner we've got a fairly young team uh, our triple-a group that's uh, you know over the wall and our uh, you know race day or, or team crew 
uh, we're all pretty young, so this is the first time that we we've experienced anything like this. And you know, we just all want to act like um, you know, like we deserve to be here. And this is another race weekend with a little more importance and a little more uh, photographers around the car, and just try to go out and uh, you know do the best we can. Lee, did you have a question? Yeah, let's bring her the mic if we could, please. David, what advice has uh, Jimmy given you as far as how to approach tomorrow evening? Um, still be pretty aggressive. Uh, we hadn't talked specifically about our game plan and what we have to do, but but he, he you know made it clear that you know we're not going to go out and just take it easy all night trying not to do anything stupid. We're going to be aggressive and you know run like um, you know like. This is the, the first race of the chase, running as hard as we can, trying to win the thing. So uh, I think he just wanted to, you know, to make it clear to the guys, uh, you know, he's not going to be, um, uh, you know, passive with the setup. We're going to, you know, be uh, aggressive with, with everything, trying to get all we can get. And I uh, just don't want to, you know, make sure we don't we don't lay down a little too much because I feel like the other two cars are going to go out and do the same thing, be aggressive as they can be. Uh, you know, this is a deal where... Um, it is kind of a, a, a one race is, is going to it is determined and everything, but you don't want to leave this race at Richmond and Sunday morning. You say, man, if I could have been a little more aggressive here, if we would have had this in, we might would have been, you know, have had a better result. So we want to, you know, give all we can give, and at the end of the night, we'll say we done the best we we did, we could do, and that's all there is to say about it. Other questions for David. Anything else? All right, David, we wish you all the luck. And, all right. Uh, we appreciate have, it, guys. Have a good race. You Thank have you. Fun. We should have Jeff Gordon in here in uh, just a few minutes.